Hey, what's up guys? Josh and Obakre here, aka Olufemi, and I had to ask myself this question back when I was first starting out, and it's a very important question. Is it ever smart to go into debt to buy a piece of film equipment by paying in payments or installments? Well, I would say before you answer that question, you have to ask yourself three more questions. Number one, would you make more money having the equipment than not having it? Number two, are you able to go into debt interest free? And number three, would you have been able to save up the amount of money that that equipment costs within one year? If the answer to all those questions is yes, then I'd say, yeah, just do it. Try it out, go into debt, make that entrepreneurial decision. It's probably a piece of equipment that you already needed and that you would have bought anyway after you had you know, waited that year to save up the amount that it costs. So let's say the piece of equipment that you wanna buy is a $3,000 Sony A7S Mark II. Well, paying in installments by going into debt still allows you to save up that same amount of money that you're gonna save up anyway over the course of the year, but you get the equipment at the beginning of the year as opposed to the end of the year. I would call this strategic debt because let's think about it. Over the course of the year, let's say you would have been able to have made $80,000 as a direct result of having that camera. Well, having the camera at the beginning of the year allows you to make that $80,000. If you had waited till the end of the year, after you'd saved up another $3,000 to save up the camera, to buy the camera, you wouldn't have had the chance of making that $80,000. So this is a good example of how strategic debt can actually be a really smart financial decision. Think about people that love to buy reds. I have a few friends that bought reds and instead of actually paying the, let's say 50 grand for an entire red package, they just kind of had the same mentality as if they were buying a car. I want this car now because I'm able to get to my job. It's able to make me money. So they got their bread at the beginning and they pay about $500 a month. It probably depends on their credit score and everything. And they're able to make money as they save up for the camera. And so by the end of the, you know, who knows, maybe five, six years it takes to save up all that money, and they finally have enough money, you know, the $50,000 to save up for the red camera, they've already had that red camera for five years, and who knows, maybe they've made, let's say, half a million dollars from either rentals or doing DP work. It's incredible. So just think about it. You shouldn't always go into debt, but I'd say sometimes, and maybe a lot of the time actually, going into debt is a very smart financial decision that you should always think about. Just make sure, again, that you can actually make the payments and that you're not going into more debt than you need to be in. Thanks for watching guys and give me your opinion below. All right guys, so in the last video I asked you guys to prank my boy Kavika, the VFX artist and one of my best bros that taught me probably about 80% of what I know in After Effects. And I told you to click on his latest picture and comment something really random about Hawaii, where he's from and video production. Um, some of you guys did. The only guy that actually responded correctly was my man, Jeremy Souls. Um, good job, bro. One time I was in Hawaii doing some video production. It was so cool, but a bird pooped in my arm. Dude, you're hilarious. In fact, because of that, I'm gonna follow you. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys.